Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this rocking horse. Just a quick update from me before we begin. My mum is having surgery early next week, so I'll be going up to look after my dad while she's in hospital, and then both my parents. So I'll be too busy to design a new pattern every week. I'll be starting a beginner series and will put up an easy pattern every second week and my usual design on the other weeks. For the rocking horse I'll be using four ply crochet cotton but you could use any ply or wool if you'd prefer. I've got five colours of cotton. I've got my white, black, two pinks and a purple. I've got sewing thread and a sewing needle to stitch it together. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in my ends, a 1.25mm crochet hook and I've got seed beads to stitch on the flowers. Now I'll start with the rocking part and my mauve cotton. I make 45 chain. Got a bit of dog fur. My dog's shedding dreadfully at the moment. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next five chain. And then work a joined single crochet over the next two chain. and then I repeat that right across. One single crochet into each of the next five chain and then a joined single crochet over the following two chain. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. Now there's row one finished. For row two I start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch until I get to the last two stitches. So I'll work along until the last two stitches and I'll be back. Now I've got two stitches left. Into those two I work a joined single crochet. Now I'm going to work a neatening row right around both sides. So I start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch. So I work right around the bottom, round the corner and then back along the top and slip stitch into the chain. So I'll work that and I'll be back. And there's the rocking piece done. I'll fasten off. I'll start with the head now. 
Using my light pink, I make a magic loop and work one chain and seven single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch. For row 2 I work 1 chain and work 1 single crochet into each of the next 5 stitches. For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row four I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch until the last stitch and I work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five, I work one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch until the last stitch and I work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six I work one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 7 I work 1 chain and turn. I work 1 joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 single crochet into each stitch until the last 2 stitches. And I work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 8 I work 1 chain and turn and I work 1 single crochet into each stitch. For row 9 I work 1 chain and turn and I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and then a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 I work one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch. And that's the head done. We're going to do a neatening row now. We start with one chain and then we work one single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll continue around my neatening row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row I join with a slip stitch into the chain now I'm going to do the ear. I start with 3 chain 
and work a joined double crochet over the same stitch as the chain and the next stitch. And fasten off. For the second ear, I start on the stitch before the corner stitch and work three chain and then work a joined double crochet in the same place as the chain and the next stitch. and fasten off. And that's the head done. I'm going to start on this front part of the mane now. Using my dark pink I start with 7 chain I miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into the next stitch. I work a single crochet into the following stitch and then a half double crochet into the next. And then I slip stitch into the next stitch and work four chain I miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into the next stitch, a single crochet in the following stitch and then a half double crochet into the next. And then slip stitch into the next chain and then I work 3 chain, I miss the first chain and work a single crochet in the next and then a half double crochet into the following stitch and then slip stitch into the last chain and fasten off. And that's the front main part that will just stitch in a bit. Now for the body I'm going to start up under the head on the neck part. I start with four chain I miss the first chain and work a single crochet into each of the remaining chain For row 2 to 4 I work 1 chain and turn and work a single crochet into each stitch. So 3 single crochet. That's for rows 2 to 4. For row 5 I start with 1 chain and turn and I work a single crochet into each stitch
and then I work 15 chain. For row 6, I miss the first chain and work a single crochet into each stitch across. Once I've worked in all the chain, I work into the neck part, into each stitch. Now rows 7, 8 and 9 are work the same. You start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet in the first stitch. and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. So row 7 to 9, one chain and turn, two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll complete to the end of row 9 and I'll be back. For row 10 I work one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 11 we work one chain and turn. We work joint single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch until the last two stitches. And we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch across.
For row 13 we work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet over each stitch until the last two stitches. And we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 14 I'm starting on the back leg now. I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row 15 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. For row 16 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet in the following stitch. For row 17 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet in the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row 18 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch. For row 19 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and I work another joined single crochet into the same stitch as the last part of the joined single crochet and the next stitch. So I've got two stitches left. For row 20 I start with one chain and turn. I work a single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 21 I start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into each of the two stitches and then fasten off. And that's the body and the back leg. For the front leg we join the cotton three stitches back from the, the front And start with one chain and a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row 5 
we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then another joined single crochet starting in the same stitch as the last joined single crochet and then the next stitch. For rows 6 and 7 we work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 8 we work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And that's the front leg done. We're going to start on a neatening row now. Now I like to work slip stitches down each side of the legs just to make them a bit thin thinner but if you'd rather work single crochet that's fine. So I work a slip stitch into each stitch down the leg Now into the first stitch of the tummy part I work a single crochet into the next stitch I work a half double crochet and then a double crochet into the following stitch. And then a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then I continue along the tummy working one single crochet into each stitch. Now up the leg I'm going to work a slip stitch into each stitch. I'm going to work one chain and then work a single crochet into each stitch along the top of the leg. And then a single um, a chain and then a slip stitch down each stitch of the leg. Once I get to the top of the leg I work single crochets into each stitch up to the top of the back.
I work a single crochet into the first stitch on the top of the back and then a half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And then a half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now I continue with a single crochet into each stitch around till I get to the leg and then I work a slip stitch into each stitch up to the top of the leg and then a chain and then a single crochet into each stitch. So I'll work to the top of the leg and then I'll be back. Now I'm up to the top of the leg so I work one chain and work a single crochet into each stitch across the top of the leg. And then fasten off. And there's the body and legs done. For the main, we start with our dark pink with 12 chain. We miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into the next chain. We work a single crochet into the following stitch, a half double crochet into the next, and then a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then we work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, then five chain, miss the first and work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet in the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch and then a double crochet into the next. Miss the next of the original chain and work a slip stitch into the next. Then work four chain and work a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. A single crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the following stitch and then slip stitch into the last of the original chain and that's the main done. I'll fasten off For the tail I'm also using my dark pink I start with 14 chain I work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, a joined single crochet over the next two stitches, a single crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into each of the next six stitches,
a single crochet into the next stitch, three single crochet into the following stitch, and a slip stitch into the last stitch and then work three chain. For row two we work a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. I'm now working back along the main part and a half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. A single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a slip stitch in the next stitch and then one chain and turn and then we work a slip stitch in the second chain, second stitch from the hook. A single crochet in the following stitch a half double crochet in the next stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet in the following stitch, a single crochet into the next and then a slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. And fasten off. And that's the tail finished. For the saddle I'm using my mauve and I start with 8 chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch Now rows 2 and 3 will work the same, one chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch.
for row 4 we work 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch until the last two stitches and two, a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the saddle. We're going to do a neatening row of one chain and one single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll just continue around and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row I slip stitch into the chain and fasten off. I'll do the saddle strap and the bridle when, when I'm making my rocking horse up. So that's the saddle. For the hoof, I join with my black in the first stitch at the end of the leg and I work three chain. I work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then one double crochet into each stitch across. and fasten off. And the other hoof will be worked the same. If you'd like the flowers, you start with a magic loop and work one chain and one single crochet into the circle. Then we work three chain and a single crochet into the circle and we repeat that three more times. Three chain and a single crochet. And then we work three chain, pull the circle tight, and slip stitch in the first chain. And fasten off. And that's the flower. I'll just weave in my ends, crochet another hoof and three more flowers and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now the first thing I'll do is embroider on the nostrils and the black part of the eyes. Now I've stitched the nostrils and the outer eyes on. Now I'm going to do the bottom part of the bridle. I've got my mauve cotton and I'll make about 12 chain. I just need enough for it to go across and just wrap around slightly. So that looks like enough. 
So I'll fasten off. So I'll stitch that on there. I'll also stitch the front main part on there and I'll put the little white dots on the eyes. For this second part of the bridle I'll need about nine chain. Now I'll weave in the one end and it will attach just on top of the other part of the bridle and I'll stitch it up and round behind the ear. Now the head's finished, I'll now attach it to the body just about there and using beads I'll also attach three flowers to the rocking piece, one in the centre and one each end. Now I've made a strip of 10 chain in mauve for the saddle strap. I just stitch it around like that and weave in my ends and then I'll stitch the saddle over the top, just centre it and then bend it back over the horse's back. I'll also stitch on the tail. You attach it by the little end piece there. I just put a, a few stitches just across there and flip it over. Now I attach the mane in behind the horse's head and down the neck. It starts just behind the ear and down almost to the saddle and I'll also attach the other flower to the tail just in there and the last thing I do is attach the horse to the rocking piece just evenly in there and there's a the finished rocking horse I've also made it into other colours if you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details on my website. I have all my patterns up on my website. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.